Hey guys, Nate with Fieldcraft Survival, and I wanted to introduce you the Fieldcraft Range Med Kit. Inside you're gonna notice a lot of familiar items that you've seen before, but we wanted to take the best of everything that we had and throw it inside of something that was specifically designed to be an individual first aid kit on the range that we could use to treat everything from major, major traumatic injuries to minor cuts and scrapes and bruises, and put it inside of something that we could use fast. Okay, so let me talk about some of the items that we picked to throw inside of this kit. The first and most recognizable is the soft tee. We have it orange, and the reason we want it orange is because it's way more visible. It's a lot easier to find and stands out. Black tourniquets tend to be confused for pieces of kit. They've been cut off of law enforcement officers, so we want this bright orange color. It's easy to find in the dark, and it's not gonna be confused for some of the other pieces of webbing that people might be wearing on their, on their person. Uh, next is the Olias Hemcom bandage from TacMed Solutions. This is the premier pressure dressing that has packing gauze impregnated with Cheeto gauze already inside of it. So I have packing gauze to pack an injury, and then I have the gauze pad to lay over it and the elastic bandage with the control wrap, the elastic stop, so I don't lose the whole thing and roll everywhere to completely secure uh, my injury. So I don't have to have combat gauze and a pressure dressing. I have everything I need inside of one awesome tool. Further down the march assessment, we have our chest seals. Super common injuries there at the range as well. So we have vented chest seals, a twin pack for entry and exit, and two is one, is one is none. So that's why we've thrown these in here. Further down the assessment also, or as well, we've got compressed gauze. Gauze is limited to your creativity and only to the limits of your imagination for the stuff that we can use it for. So having an extra piece of gauze, especially for possible deeper wound cavitation on top of using the Cheeto gauze is super helpful and important. Uh, and last but not least, we have for hypothermia management, we have a small survival blanket that we're going to uh, use to maintain body heat. Uh, for other situations, maybe in the woods, we might have a bigger, more robust blanket, but this small blanket for the purposes of being able to keep it inside of an IFAC, something is always better than nothing. And so I want this to be able to already reflect body heat to prevent hypothermia as soon as, and as fast as possible. So now that we have the, the traumatic injuries covered, we've also got some utility items. Uh, other common injuries on the range uh, are burns, right? People are grabbing hot things all the time by mistake. And so being able to treat burns right there to actively start a cooling process will help the long-term care of those injuries. Basic Band-Aid packs, because we're running around, we're moving things, we're getting fingers and digits and pinched and all kinds of stuff. So Band-Aids of all sorts of shapes and sizes, along with the, the stuff that we'll need to kind of clean out some of those wounds and, and get us good to go and ready for, for more training. Utility items that I try to throw in every single range or, or med kit is a Sharpie because I want to be able to write things down. I've got my location that I need to remember or communicate to somebody at the time of a tourniquet. It's always helpful to be able to write things down. So a small little Sharpie is, is an easy one to throw in there. 100 mile an hour tape, duct tape, combat medic reinforcement tape. It's known by many names, but I've got this in here. That way I can secure my interventions, tape things down if I need to, get a little creative with some of the stuff that I might have to do. I've got trauma shears, especially in the range, people are wearing lots of pieces of kit. And so being able to cut and get away from some of that to have access to injuries is super important. I wanna gain access as fast as I can. So having a set of trauma shears uh, will be a big deal. Light sources are mandatory pieces of kit inside of every med kit. Uh, there's a good probability that some of the stuff is gonna be used in the dark and I, I don't always know that I'm gonna have a, a light source on me. So having a light source inside of my med kit guarantees that I'll always have at least something to light up in, in the, the area and so I can treat injuries. I can't treat what I can't find. We have um, here an eye shield. Again, catching ricochets or dust, dirt, debris, target stands or anything else. Having an eye shield to be able to cover the eyes to protect it from any further injury, prevent a little bit of movement or different things. I want to have these in here for any ocular trauma. And last but not least for all of our utility items, most importantly is gloves. We've got our purple nitrate gloves that I'll be able to see blood or whatever on my hands a lot simpler than black gloves, which are super common. Uh, and I don't know what anyone's extracurricular hobbies are, so I've got to keep myself safe and I have these on for anyone that I treat.